Yo, 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 you two. It's your boy. Retro here. We're back at it again with another video. Today game for today's gameplay, we got some Fallout 76. Some of you guys say it's booty, not worth the money. Hey, you know, my friend had this and I decided I wanted it. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay. And it's not a 10 out of 10. They have some flaws, have some flaws, but hey, every game does. But yeah, so this is my first video that I'm making in 2019. Let's get it, Gucci My other videos, my friend made while I was gone in Mexico. And boy, do I have a story for you today. It is kind of a juicy one. It is my near-death experience. I guess it's like kind of like three things. Near-death experience or two things. Um, my near-death experience and one of the scariest moment in my life. Alright, hope you guys had a good Christmas Eve, and a good Christmas, and a good uh, New Year's. You guys have your resolutions down, do whatever you want. Let's get right into this story. Alright guys, so I'll start with that. I was in Mexico, okay? And I think this was like four days I was in there, I don't know. Like, I know it was kind of like the first week I got there. I stayed there for two weeks. And so, you know, I was there. And... It was like, no, the second or third day. And so, you know, I was there. And then one day, um, there was this, like, so me and my family, we went walking. And we went to this pond. And, you know, it was pretty good. It wasn't like a pond. It was more like a kind of like a lake thing. But, yeah, it was a pretty good lake. Pretty big, pretty big. And so we walked back. And then the next day, me and my cousin were outside. We're bored. No, I think it was Friday or Saturday. And because there was a wedding that we were going to, but... This was like two hours before we went to the wedding. The wedding was really boring, by the way. It freaking sucked. But, um, yeah, so me and my cousin, we were in the back, you know, really nothing to do. I don't know if we had the soccer. Yeah, we had a soccer ball. And, you know, really only thing to do there was play on the soccer, play with the soccer ball. Because phones, no Wi-Fi there. So it really sucked. There was, like, no Wi-Fi. I clogged the toilet so many times. I had to take a dump. I had diarrhea because I ate this after the wedding. We got home. And then I went to bed, 3 in the morning, a diarrhea, clogged that toilet up. And so like I was saying, so you know, we're we're in the we're in the backyard, pretty bored out of our minds. And he's like, hey, you want to go back to that one lake? Like, he's like, you want to walk around and go to that lake? And I'm like, you know what, nothing else to do. I want to enjoy the scenery. So sure. So, you know, we start walking. We're like, we all, we're like, we'll bring the ball for us, you know, dribble it around. So, you know, we start dribbling, we start walking around. And, you know, just enjoying the fresh air. And we're just walking while we're down there. You know, pretty nice scenery. Um, there was, like, this corn. And I want to mention to you guys, there was a lot of, like, street dogs there. So, you know, we actually befriended the street dog. His name, we called him Scuff Dog. Pretty good dog. I befriended him when one time I was walking home from a party at this one school. They had their, like, it was, like, a live thing. And then I gave the dog some bread. I wanted to give him a towel, but they told me no. You know, didn't want to give up the towel. So, I was walking. We were walking. And then, um, this is, like, really long path. And it's, like, it's just straight. No trees, no nothing. Just farmland, the farms and stuff. And we're walking. We're talking. And I'm like, huh, look. He's like, huh. He's like, what? I'm like, look, it's, like, the animals are getting herded and stuff. He's like, oh, that's cool. And so, he keeps looking at it. And then he starts talking. And then, out of nowhere... I swear, I don't know where, like, okay, these were, like, these dogs come out, so, like, it was four or five of them, and they were black, they were black dogs, and I was like, oh, God, look, and I turn around, and I start sprinting, and keep in mind, these were, like, dog, four or five dogs, and these dogs, they weren't, like, street dogs, these boys were well fed, they weren't malnourished, they weren't, like, dehydrated, oh, I, I farted, sorry, guys, um, they weren't, like, dehydrated or anything, these boys they were like fed, they had water, these boys were meant to get rid of intruders and stuff, so they're like, keep in mind, they're not like right in front of us, they're like kind of like, they're pretty far from us, but they spot us, and they start running at us and start barking at us, and you know, I looked up what to do, like after the situation, and apparently you're supposed to like, stare at them and walk back slowly, and if you run, their instincts will kick in, but no, we just started sprinting, back. and we were like, oh god, we started screaming, we leave the soccer ball, rip the soccer ball, we start running away, we're like, huh, huh. and in my head, like, like, I didn't, like, I don't know, like, tell me if something, like, one of the scary, like, when, during a scary experience, like, what you guys were thinking, but in this moment, when it was, like, like, they could have killed us, like, I was like, 
in my head, I was just thinking, like, what's it, I say, like, a lot, like, meter, uh, what's it called, uh, in my head, I was just thinking, dude, what the heck, man, because, like, oh, bruh, oh, my God, sorry, I, I was just thinking, because, like, what's it called, oh, I'm trying to remember, trying to, oh, yeah, okay, because, like, um, so I was thinking, like, is this real? Like, this can't be real. Like, I can't die here. Like, I can't be like, chewed up by dogs. So many stuff I wanted to do. Like, I wanted to like do all this other stuff. You know, get rich. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Calm down. And then what's it called? So then we start running. We lose the soccer ball, and we start heading back. And then, like, thankfully the dogs are called back. Cause honestly, I don't. Know, we could have probably made it, but like the dogs, like the dogs are called back. I'm pretty sure by that one is because they probably saw the dogs are running and barking and then us uh, screaming. And so we're like, oh god, the soccer ball. Cause there was nothing else to do. My cousin was like, we gotta go back for the soccer ball. I'm like, man, screw that. I'm not trying to die over that soccer ball. It's like out of air, basically. And then I see these kids. To keep in mind, when I was riding back, there was like this. There was like these kids. They opened their door, and then their dog came out. I was like, oh god, but the dog didn't do anything. And honestly, if we wouldn't make it, if we wouldn't have made it, I would have just ran in their like house, their yard, because they had a fence. Because everywhere they have a fence there, like they're really protective there. Like everywhere had like barbed wire on their fence. This one dude, a lot of like a good shot If you don't have barbed wire, just break glass and just put it up on your fence wall. And so yeah, so. We see the kids, and they go, and they get the soccer ball for us. And I'm like, oh, he's sweet. So we get the soccer ball, and then they give it to us for, like, all things. And then they're like, no problem, jabroni. And then they walk away, and then I have it. I'm like, oh, God. And so we start walking back, and then what's it called? And we don't tell anyone. We don't tell our parents. We don't tell anything, because if we tell them, well, no more outside for us, because then they wouldn't trust us anymore. So we basically just went back, said nothing, went to the wedding, and then we just talked about it. We just kept saying what if and all this stuff. And yeah, that was basically it. That was basically the time where I almost died. Alright guys, tell me your most scariest experiences down in the comments below. Just want to thank you guys for 100 subscribers. This year I'm going for 200 subscribers. I know we can do it. Thanks. Retro signing out. Peace, homo G.